To give you a better idea about the four major climate zones in Alaska, I'm going to use Google Earth to show you one town or city that's located in each of the four major climate zones. We're going to start with the Arctic climate zone and Barrow, Alaska. So you can see it'll take us right into the very northern coast of Alaska. Now if you can remember, the Arctic region is mainly taken up with tundra. There's not a lot of trees, really no trees on the tundra. Um, it's very cold, very long, cold winters. So let's zoom in and see if we can take a look. As you can kind of see out here on the terrain, it doesn't look like there is any trees, just a lot of barren ground. This is very typical for that Arctic climate region. And there's Barrow itself, as you can see. Scroll back out just a little ways. Get a better idea of where that's located, way up there on the northern coast. Now let's take a look at the continental climate zone. And that will for that we'll go to Fairbanks. As you can see, it's located deep in the interior. Um, now, there's some similarities between this and the Arctic climate region. Um, the continental climate region also has long, cold winters. Um, not, you know, there's a pretty big variance because it gets hot here in the summertime. Um, in the interior, you get a lot of heat building up. There's a lot of trees here in this continental climate zone. Um, a lot of spruce, a whole lot of spruce, a lot of birch trees zoom in I can take you outside of town here a little bit and show you here's here's some of these spruce forests that I'm talking about as you can see it's abundant areas of trees so quite a bit different as far as vegetation goes from that Arctic climate region now let's go ahead and look at the transitional climate region and for this we're gonna go to Antioch Alaska over here and if you can remember the transitional um, they get the effects of the physical terrain and also the ocean currents or the ocean um, has an, also affects their weather and their climate so let's zoom in on Antioch a little bit this is a very small community so not sure how the resolution is going to be yeah it looks like it's not going to come through too well we can kind of scoot out a little bit and hopefully get a better idea as you can see it's kind of a mix here you can see there's different types of terrain. You can definitely tell that there's some trees mixed in there. Um, weather here is not as extreme as in the Arctic or the continental for that matter. It's just um, a lot more moderate and temperate throughout the year. They still get really cold. They get a lot of wind out here. But so there's your third one. And for our last climate zone, we're going to go to Juneau, Alaska, the capital. And that's the maritime climate zone. Now this is where you're going to find some of the rainforests that are in Alaska. Search down there, and it's down here in the southeastern part. So let's scroll. You can see there's a lot of mountains down here. Um, also, this is very affected by, it's a maritime climate, so it's very affected by the ocean. A lot milder temperatures throughout the year. They don't have quite the swing that we do in, up here in the interior in the continental climate zone. They also just don't get nearly as cold. Let's zoom in just a little bit. As you can kind of see, you can tell there's a lot of vegetation right outside of Juneau. And this is how it is down in this maritime climate region. Tons of vegetation, lots of rain every year very moderate temperatures, the winters aren't that bad. A lot of people really like Juneau for that reason, that the temperatures stay pretty moderate, but they say it rains a lot. But those are your four climate um, zones in Alaska and a city or town for each one.